how do you actually code up how to read text from there? Right. How do you tie it to the language of the text? Right. It's unimaginably hard to code that up by hand. Yes. So instead, what, what you do is you, you, you put these, what they're called neural networks, they look at all of the pixels of, of the image, and, and you give it lots and lots of examples of Im images that have, somewhere it's got the text in it, and you tell the neural network what the ah, text is. I see. And the neural network, through lots and lots of training, starts to work out its internal algorithm to extract the information from these pixels, piece it all together, and spit out the actual text, the actual or text. spit out what the objects are. Wow. So you're currently chief AI officer at Isomorphic Labs. This is a biology place. That's right. Do you have any biology in your background? Formal biology? No. No, okay. No. So they no. want you for your AI. That's right, that's oh, right. right. So I, I, I was at a place called DeepMind beforehand. Oh, mm -hmm. Google. Google yeah. DeepMind, yes. exactly. Um, I was there for a long time. I absolutely love this, this core AI technology called deep learning. That's what I've been developing my whole career so far. At DeepMind, we were working on some crazy stuff, you know, mm. learning to play chess and go and beating top professionals at games like StarCraft. You know, back then it was All about- it was a big deal. Yeah, and, and because the world didn't know what AI was, mm. so we, we were trying to prove that this was even a thing, right? It seems mm. crazy now, but back then it was just proving that this was actually a real thing. But at the core, you know, I, I love this technology. I want to see it have profound impact on our world. And I was thinking these That's things- That's where it begins. Yep. <laughs>